Welcome to the Lone Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, and yes, I am a Lone Ranger. Thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate it very much. It looks like we're having a little bit of video issues today. So if you go to my podcast channel and you see that my face is a little herky jerky, I don't shake around like that, but it looks like I do. So, um, Anyway, we got a lot of things to talk about on the show today. Interest rates. What are interest rates doing? I'm going to tell you something for all of you loyal listeners that listen to me on a regular basis. I'm going to share something with you that you're going to really find fascinating when it comes to interest rates. Then I've got a lot of different programs I want to talk about and things and opportunities that you have. For instance, so many people are jumping into refinance right now. So who should refinance and who should wait? Who should refinance? Who should wait? We're going to talk a little bit more about that and uh, what you can do uh, to discover whether now is the right time for you to refinance. So typically, when it comes to refinancing, people think that you have to either drop by a point and a half. Uh, some people have even said two points, but that is not true. It's not true at all. Sometimes you do need to drop that much, but that's just a rule of thumb. It's like people say, oh, closing costs are 3% of the, the purchase price. No, they're not. They're 6% or so if you have a $100,000 loan, and they may be 1.5% if you have an $800,000 loan. So. There's too many items on a closing cost statement that are uh, that are static. They are uh, they're embedded. They're the same no matter what price of a house you buy. That's why closing costs for low end buyers are more expensive than that of high end buyers because the appraisal costs the same amount per se. So does a survey. So does the title services. So all of that is all static, and therefore the higher the purchase price, the lower the percentage of closing costs. There you go. There's something new for you. All right. Um, so listen, you know what? I'm going to get right into this. This interest rate thing is just driving me absolutely crazy. And I know my listeners are smarter than the average people. So I know you are. I get calls from you guys every day and twice on Saturday and Sunday. But here's the thing. How many times did you hear me say before the Fed cut the Fed rate that the interest rates for the cut were already baked into today's rates? You heard me say it a hundred times. Okay. I also told everybody, and I got a lot of flack for it, is that when the Fed cuts the Fed rate, interest rates on mortgages could go up. And everybody's like, you are an idiot. What are you telling us that for? What's your motivation for that one? Well, guess what, folks? The Lone Ranger was right again. Interest rates are actually higher today than they were on the day the Fed cut the Fed rate. You're right. They're higher. So we have to understand why. So this is why I like to spend time helping you guys get sharp. Okay? So first of all, the Fed has nothing to do with mortgage rates. The Fed rate is the money that banks borrow money from, from, from each other for the, for that matter, or from the federal reserve. So it doesn't have any impact on mortgages really at all. It has an impact on the economy that can have a trickle down impact on mortgages, but the Fed rate has nothing to do with mortgage rates whatsoever. And anybody that thinks it does is just uninformed. So now that you are informed, then let's get on a little deeper with this. So mortgages and mortgage rates are tied to the bond market. The 10-year Fannie Mae bond, the 30-year bond, that's what they're tied to. So the better the bond yield, the lower the interest rate. I'll say that again, the better the bond yield, the lower the interest rate. So we want bonds to go up, 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 up. Now, I digress for a second. When the Fed cuts the Fed rate, you think about this. Why do they do that? What's the purpose for cutting the Fed rate? All right, I'll answer it for you since I can't hear you. It's to stimulate the economy. 
Would you guys all agree with that? So when the Fed drops the Fed rate, more people are more likely to spend money. Their money goes further. And we need money to circulate. If money's not moving around, the economy becomes the economy becomes very stagnant and nobody's making any money. That's why money's called currency because it has to move, it has to flow, it has to keep moving all the time. If it stands still, nobody's getting anywhere. So we need money to move around. So the Fed drops the Fed rate, that stimulates the economy. Now, that gets you out spending more money. It allows you to be able to accumulate more for less money as inflation goes down. But you think about this. When the economy is going better, what happens to the stock market? It goes up. It's stimulated as well because you're more apt to spend more money. So companies are doing better and the stock market goes up. Well, if you understand the relationship between the stock market and the bond market, you will now understand that when money is more attractive and the economy is going better, the money makers, the market makers, the hedge funds move money, big money from bonds to stocks because they're going to make money on stocks. They're not going to make money in the bond market. It is a safe haven. The bond market is a safe haven. It's a place for lenders and insurance companies and big investment firms to park their money until the dust settles in the stock market, then move back into the stock market when it, when the dust is settled. So what happened? The drop of the Fed rate stimulated the economy that stimulated the stock market. Guess what happened to the bond market? The bond market suffered and interest rates went up. There you go. So the loan arrangers predictions as as uh unpopular as they may be were correct and therefore that's why i am the lone ranger that's why you can count on me for that information it's not a sales pitch i don't do anything in here as a sales pitch my sales pitch is when i've got you at my desk on why you should use my services this show is for you to understand the market better, for you to be able to make better informed choices on who to choose for a mortgage, how to buy a home, how to negotiate it, when to refinance, what programs may be available, which ones are, are crappy programs and which ones are great programs. That's what it's all about. So this show will inform you and you are going to be smarter than your next door neighbor. I promise you. My phone number is 407-706-3313, 407-706-3313, or in Tampa at 813-213-4009, 813-213-4009, or webringyouhome.com. So here's the thing. So as interest rates have popped up a little bit, now, are they were like they were two months ago? Of course not. Did they go up much? No, they didn't go up much but they went up and that's all that counts. So for all of you that continue to sit on the sidelines waiting to lock your rate, you made a fatal mistake. So I knew it was happening and I locked almost every one of my borrowers in before the market turned on, uh, on, uh, what was it on the really on the 30th, the last day of the month. Now, Let's understand what is causing that. First of all, you had an utterance from Jerome Powell, the Federal uh, Reserve Chairman. Okay. When he speaks, people listen. But sometimes he speaks out of his butt. And he had the nerve to say on September the 30th that they weren't sure if they were going to make any more. Fed cuts at any time soon. Well, the market went ape crap over that. Okay. They thought that was horrible. So then that affects everybody, stocks, bonds, everybody. So if interest rates were not to be lowered, you still will have better interest rates as time goes on, but it's not going to happen soon. It's not going to happen overnight and it's not going to be worth waiting 
it's just time to do it now. You can still get a great rate. You can you can get a rate in the fives, in buy downs, in the fours potentially. There's opportunities for you to be able to buy or refinance. If you're a veteran, don't go to USAA. Don't go to Veterans United. Don't go to new whatever it is, new veterans, whatever. I'm going to tell you why. These guys spend millions of dollars on advertisement and somebody's got to pay for it. You don't see any ads for me out there. You don't see one cross country advertisement anywhere. And yet we're the largest retail lender in the country. Why? Because we have great rates. We have great service. So if you're a veteran, if you're FHA, if you want to refinance, you call the loan arranger. 407-706-3313 or 813-213-4009. Or go to webringyouhome.com and apply now. Webringyouhome.com. Get your application made. I'll help you. I'll do a soft credit pull. I won't even do a hard credit pull. But let's start saving you money and start saving you money sooner rather than later. Now, if you're looking to buy and you got a three and a half percent 30 year fixed rate, then let's think about what is motivating you to want to buy. Because I already know you don't want to give up your three and a half percent fixed rate. We all know that. So what's more important than the rate? Well, maybe you had a child. Maybe you're tired of living in an apartment complex with a crackhead next to you. Maybe your car was vandalized. Maybe your kid's getting bullied at school. Maybe you just don't like where you live. Maybe you want to paint a bedroom your own color. Maybe you have pets and your a landlord or uh, apartment complex won't let you have them. There could be any number of reasons. But moving to improve your lifestyle, to make it more comfortable, put your kids in better schools, have a place to call your own is always worth more than the rate that you're paying. Now, I don't mean that you should do it even if you can't afford it. Don't do that. That would be foolish. I'm just saying that there's more important things than rate. And you can count on appreciation. We're seeing a 5% appreciation right here, right now. 5%. 5%. That means... A $500,000 house goes up $25,000 every year. So listen, the longer you wait, the more you're out of the game. If rates continue to go down in the future, then we refinance it. When you come to me, you don't pay any lender fees when we refinance. So listen, you're not going to pay any lender fees to refinance. Just get into a home now. Let's lock in the best rate we can. You should be, you should be in the anywhere between the low fives and the low sixes, unless your credit's just in the toilet. Now, if your credit's in the toilet and then and you have to pay a higher rate, well, that's on you. That's not on me. So guess what I'll do? I'll help you fix it. Don't wait and fix it yourself. I'm telling you. You guys do more damage than good when you try to fix your own credit. So stop doing it and stop paying people for it. It's ridiculous. Stop it. Call me 407-706-3313 or 813-213-4009. So we talked about interest rates pretty much in this whole segment. We, uh, I, I, I given, given you, a, I can't even speak. I've given you an explanation as to what causes interest rates to move and what doesn't cause interest rates to move. We've talked about the benefits of buying, but I'm going to tell you something. For all of you tenants out there, all of you renters that are renting right now, I don't care if the interest rate was 15%. It's better than renting because you're paying 100%. You heard me, 100% interest. So don't complain about an interest rate when you're a renter. You have no room to complain. You know what you complain about? Not getting up off your butt and going buying a house call in the loan arranger. I'll hook you up with a great real estate agent. They'll give you 25% of their commission back in your pocket. That's what you have to look forward to. A great rate, a good mortgage, a new place to live, 
and a place to call your own. My name is Bruce Woodburn. I'm the Lone Arranger. I will be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Arranger radio show, Cross Country Mortgage, 407-706-3313-813-213-4009, or we bring you home.com. I'll be back in five minutes. We're going to cover self-employed borrowers and how to not fix your credit.